Hey guys, uh, welcome to Minecraft 13W36A. Uh, this is a 1.7 snapshot. Uh, so a lot has changed as far as biomes, world generation, uh, flowers, as you can see, flowers and plant life. Uh, there's some new enchants, uh, there's new blocks. Uh, let's go over the flowers quickly. Uh, so you got your standard dandelion. Uh, you got a poppy, which kind of looks like the rose used to. Uh, you got oh, you got a grass block. <laughs> uh, you got blue orchid. Uh, allium. I'm not sure what that one is for. Probably some. I don't know. Uh, azure blue. I'd imagine that's. Probably blue dye, maybe, or that one. There. Uh, red tulip, orange tulip, white tulip, pink tulip, <laughs> uh, oxeye daisy. Pretty cool. Uh, this is lilac. Aw, yeah. Uh, this is double tall grass. Uh, you can see there's some right here uh, that generated naturally. Oh, stupid. There. Uh, this is. A tall fern or large fern, sorry. Uh, rose bush, yeah, that's cool. Uh, that is the new rose, so yeah. And then you got peony, yes, peonies. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the the plant life has got a bit of an overhaul. Uh, the only thing that is still the same, well, I mean, you know, there's like regular grass, but yeah, the dandelion. Everything, you know, there's new flowers and all of that. New ways to get your colored dyes and stuff, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, hey, Endermang. What up, homie? Uh, as far as the new enchants, uh, I do believe they are for the fishing rod. Uh, when you go fishing, you now have a chance to get uh, loot. So, yeah. Uh, so the fishing rod, there is luck of the sea. Uh, which I believe gives you a better chance of getting loot. It's kind of like looting or, you know, luck or, you know, whatever. It's luck. Yeah. Luck of the sea. You get what I'm saying. Uh, and then lure. Lure, I'm not too sure what that's for. Uh, if I had to guess, I would guess it makes the fish bite more. Or helps you get because uh, there's new kinds of fish as well. Uh, there's raw, there's salmon, there's clownfish, puffer fish, and then of course the cooked salmon. Uh, it doesn't look like you can cook the puffer fish or the clownfish, but yeah, I'm not sure what these guys do. Swim, guy, swim. All right, he doesn't swim, but you know, we're getting there, people. We're getting there. Uh, sooner or later, I would imagine you'll be able to have a fish tank, <laughs> if I had to guess. Uh, yeah. Um, as far as new blocks, uh, there is the podzel. Pod podzel. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, I believe this only generates naturally in mega biomes. Uh, the only mega biome I've seen is a mega taiga. Uh, it grows two by two uh, spruce trees that are like really tall. Yeah, they're like really tall. Uh, so that's, I believe, the only way to get Podzol is finding a mega biome. And then there is packed ice. Uh, this naturally generates, there is a biome called Ice Plain Spikes, I believe. Uh, yeah, and there's like spikes of this all over the place. Uh, so that's, I believe, where you get packed ice. Uh, the good thing about packed ice is it can coexist with light, I believe. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe it does not melt when exposed to, to light, which is, I mean, that's nice. And a, it acts just like regular ice. So, yeah, you can now light up your ice. Um, as far as terrain generation uh, and new biomes, there's quite a few new, new biomes. Uh, there's one right here in particular. 
Uh, this is called Roofed Forest. As you can see, it's, it's kind of cool. Oh, come on now. Thank you. Um, and then there's the Mesa, which actually is over here. Wait, here. Yeah, here's Mesa. Uh, apparently the Mesa generation is broke. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you make a new 13W36A world. Uh, the Mesa generation is broke. Uh, I believe the Mesa is what's supposed to have the colored clay. And as you can see, it does not have colored clay. Uh, and then it has these floaty areas like this. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to have that either. But it does. Yeah, it's got stuff like this, and then there's... If you come over this way, we'll see an even bigger example of it. Right here. I say I'm not sure if it's supposed to have this or not, but it is supposed to have like, like I say, clay and stuff. Um, but yeah, so it's apparently broke. Uh, there is people out there that fixed the code apparently, but it's not an official fix. Uh, people have gone into the code themselves and fixed it. Um, yeah, and there's extreme. Uh, Watermelon now naturally generates, kind of like pumpkins do, uh, in, ex in jungle edge biome, I think it is. Um, so yeah, a lot has changed. Uh, this is default biome generation. Uh, we'll come over here to these extreme hills and take a quick look at those. Uh, and there's swampland has changed as well. Uh, so here's Extreme Hills, and then there's Extreme Hills Plus. So there's Extreme Hills, and there's Extreme Hills M. <laughs> uh, the M, I'm, I believe, uh, stands for mountains because there's Swampland M, and oh, oh, there's Extreme Hills Plus. I think Plus is, I guess it has trees. And stuff. Yeah. Because as soon as you leave the trees, it's just regular extreme hills. Uh, and over this way, somewhere, ah, over here, uh, there's swampland. So, another cool thing is the sugar cane. Uh, I believe it changes depending on the biome. Uh, so, let's grab some of this, this here sugar cane. As you can see, it's like a, like a deep, deep green in the swamp. Uh, let's come over here to Extreme Hills and see if it changes. Yes. Yes, it does. Now it's more of like a... it's a brighter green. Yeah. Yeah, you can see right there. This is like a real deep green, and then it's a bright green. So, uh, yeah, depending on the, the biome. Um, Swampland M, I believe, is right over here. Yeah, here's Swampland M. Uh, I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm not completely sure what the M stands for, but I believe it's mountains. And there is birch forests. It's like nothing but birch, which is pretty nice because you know going through a forest and just cutting down birch is kind of a pain. Uh, but now you can just get a birch forest and be good with it. Uh, if you're interested in the seed, to take a look around, uh, there it is. I'll put it on top of the video as well, uh, so that you know if you want to come through here and take a look around. And I believe there's a birch forest. It's got nothing but birch, which is awesome. I, you know, you can you you don't have to worry about running out of birch. But yeah, uh, I think that's going to do it for today. Just wanted to take a quick look at a few of the changes in the current snapshot. Okay, guys, uh, this is going to be inserted as a cut uh, because I can't believe I forgot to mention this. There is a new world generation setting. Um, you have default, large biomes, super flat, and amplified. This is the same seed uh, we were just on with the same terrain. Uh, well, kind of the same terrain. It's got the same basic terrain, you know, it's got 
the plains here, it's got a little bit of forest there, it's got the extreme hills, mesa, it's got the roofed forest, everything we saw only amplified. Uh, basically what amplified does is it takes the terrain and just makes it like this. <laughs> so if you want really awesome places to build and explore and like these places like this are like I mean it's constant like mini jungle or mini dungeon type things because they're just going to be so full of mobs and you just get awesome landscape like th I mean this is this is insane this is complete nuts it's it's I never thought I would see something like this in in vanilla minecraft I really didn't and I'm glad it's here so yeah uh, like I say if you want awesome landscape Oh, that music. Uh, there is new menu settings as well. I forgot to mention that, but we'll look at them while we're here. Uh, so for music settings and sound, uh, you can see you can turn down weather by itself, enemies, players, note uh, jukebox and note blocks, blocks and environment, and friendly animals. Yeah. Uh, there's super secret settings which have no have do nothing right now uh, I'm not even gonna venture a guess as to what that will be uh, resource packs apparently you can have multiple or two resource packs at once or something yeah there's some kind of something about that I'm this is one of those things I'm not completely sure about come on uh, yeah and then I believe the death menu is different. So let's take a look at that. No. Oh, no, this is actually exactly the same. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a derp thing, but yeah. So that's going to do it. That's actually going to do it for this time. So I'll see you all next time.